Hi Boss Goddess, in this video I'm gonna be showing with you how to manifest abundance and three ways to activate your power right now. The cool thing about abundance and manifestation is it's already inside of you. And the way that I started to really see manifestation happening in my life is it seemed really secular. Like there is a circle of like something would happen and then it would build up and it would lead to a manifestation and then it would kind of like go down again. And so when I started studying this, just becoming obsessed with reading books, everything from Abraham and Esther Hicks, the law of attraction to happy pocket full of money. There's so many different books that I love reading on manifestation and really what it comes down to is vibration, the law of vibration and really seeking inwards instead of constantly reaching outwards for things is actually coming back to yourself. So in this video, I want to share with you the three most powerful things that you can do right now to activate that and really set the tone and the vibration to get this ball rolling and make yourself even more available to what's already there through these three things. Before we get started, let me know in the comments below what has your experience been with activating manifestation? Have you have any questions about it? Have you been curious? What have you seen that has worked for you when it comes to activating the power within you so that you can start to really step into the being that's needed for you to receive your manifestations? So let's get very clear about what this is. You're not changing yourself. That's why I use the word activation. You're activating what's already in and a lot of what the activation starts with is clearing out, releasing, cleansing shifting so that you can really break free and step into what already is there. What we do in life is often pick up conditionings, belief systems, we pick up toxins in our body, we pick up all these things in, in our life experience that tend to weigh down on us and keep us from experiencing what the universe already has for us. And so when we release those things, that's when we can become clearer vessels. That's when we can tune into and be this beacon for manifestation. And that is what I'm going to share in this video. The very first thing that I love to share with people because it is the most accessible, while it might feel like one of the biggest obstacles I'm gonna share here, it's actually the most accessible way to activate your power right now. And that is to cleanse your body temple. And the reason why I feel it's most accessible is because it's tangible. You can actually see the results right away when you take these actions towards releasing these toxins that are keeping your body from operating at the highest level so that you can whoop, be that clear vessel. <laughs> I love that sound effect that I gave there, but it really is what I am so passionate about because for years and years I was eating foods and smoking and doing all of these things that were not serving me and actually breaking down this, this vessel that I only get once of in this lifetime in this suit that I have. So really clearing all of the addictions, the brain fog, the things that are keeping your body weighing you down from experiencing the energy that you are truly seeking to experience really activates your intuition, which is absolutely necessary in order for you to trust yourself to make the decisions that you know you want to make and so that your manifestations can come through faster, clearer, and more potently in a way that you can really be like, whoa, wow, that was amazing. I, I, I can't believe how fast that happened. And I have a ton of videos on this. Most recently, I have videos on my biggest manifestation secret ever, and that truly is cleansing. It doesn't mean that you're starving the body. This is totally the opposite. I wanna be very clear about this. You're not starving the body. What you're cleansing the body of here are toxins like glyphosate, addictions like sugar addictions. You're clearing out, you're cleansing this so that your body can be a clean palate to tune into what is really true for you. We were born into a lot of the cultural 
conditioning and addictions that our body craves, oftentimes because of parasites, because of things that we didn't even know is happening in our bodies right now. So starting with that clean slate is super powerful to activate what's possible in your body so that you can think clearly, so that you can show up with energy for your manifestations and so that you can truly activate the power that's within you right now. If you wanna know more about what I personally recommend when it comes to cleansing and becoming that clear channel, check out the link below. I have all the details about that. From there, you can make an empowered decision for what is going to serve you best. The second thing here is to let go of all the BS. And I like to say BS is short for belief systems. We have been born into a number of belief systems that you're either aware of or that you're not aware of. But the truth is that you are operating off of a ton of different belief systems. And the more we grow and evolve and awaken, the more we see that a lot of these belief systems don't serve us anymore. And they're actually keeping us from being open to what is truly possible. Some of those belief systems that I really started to see when I was awakening or when I first began to awaken was, wow, I have a lot of beliefs that I don't really, that don't really serve me around money, around food, around how I want to live or how I'm supposed to live. One of the standard belief systems around money and our culture here is that I needed to go to school and get a good job and get married and provide for my family and be a good mother. These are our belief systems. They work for some people and I'm not saying that one's a good or a bad one, but it kept me in a box thinking that that was the only way that I could succeed, that I could be happy. I started to dismantle these and this is really what I want to invite you to is to just gain more awareness around the belief systems that no longer serve you. One of the belief systems I know did not serve me and I continue to dismantle is this idea that money is hard to make or money is a struggle to make. And this is something that I am so proud of because I have invested a lot of time, money and energy into dismantling that and stepping into creating a belief around money that money is something that can come effortlessly, that can come frequently, and that can feel super good when I receive it. These are examples of belief systems and also dismantling them to install powerful belief systems that serve you today in your evolution. Third thing here when it comes to activating your power so that you can manifest more abundance is to break patterns. And this is, again, along the lines of conditioning and belief systems. But this one I like to share, break patterns and conditioning is there is a very physical and active thing that you can do. If you've ever heard of it, I love NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. I haven't taken much training on it, but if you wanna Google more about it, I highly suggest it. One of the things that several of my coaches have shared with me in NLP is just simply breaking the pattern of a thought that is no longer serving you by using your hand and like either creating this break in this pattern because we are constantly operating off of thoughts that just go in circles and oftentimes they're negative thoughts and we just repeat and repeat and repeat and this is the pattern that we have developed and so what NLP can do is it can break those patterns and you create that break you create a drastic either action or thought but action is actually the most powerful way to break this pattern so that you can become more aware of when you drop into this pattern. You can come back to this action, whether it's like, you know, tapping your left shoulder or snapping your fingers or even saying something that can break the pattern and remind you to come back to what you know is true. So for me, a pattern that kept coming up is this idea that I was not good enough. And we all experience this. If you are aware of this thought of yours, this is a great opportunity for you to break that pattern and create a pattern interrupt. And it can look different 
for everyone, but for me, I like to say cancel, clear, delete. Anytime I hear a negative thought or limiting belief about myself, saying something that is not loving to myself, like you're not enough or oh my God, why'd you do that? I just say out loud and it's really important for it to be something that's very different and also that feels slightly uncomfortable because if it's comfortable, then you're not really breaking any sort of pattern here. So I like to say out loud, cancel, clear, delete. Cancel, clear, delete. Just boom, gone, out, patterns broken. And so this is something that I can come back to. What you're essentially doing is you're creating a new pattern and you're allowing yourself to break that conditioning in the moment and start something new. These are three powerful ways to activate your inner power and start manifesting abundance. These three have to do with cleansing and releasing all of the addictions, the brain fog that has been ruling your life. The second thing is to let go of belief systems that it's no longer serving you. And the third thing here is to create a pattern interrupt to break those conditionings that are no longer serving you and keeping you playing small and actually having this really active way to break that pattern and to create a new one. So I'm so excited for you to implement this, to take this into your life, whether you feel called to detox so that you can have more clarity in life or whether you feel called to journal and write down what your belief systems are right now. You know, what are some of the things that you believe that don't serve you anymore and how can you reshape those so that you can continue to evolve the way that you desire? Or are you really interested in looking at what kind of patterns are coming up for you and how you can break those patterns so that you can create a new reality for yourself? These are all very simple things that you can start to activate and manifest even more abundance in your life. I would love to know before you leave, comment below which one of these are you going to practice this week? Which one of these are you, are you going to like take away and actually start practicing in your life? Because you can learn all these things, but if you're not taking action on it, then it's just really just information in your head. So I love hearing your comments and I cannot wait to hear and, and chat back with you. If you love this video and you want even more details on manifestation and designing the life that you love, please make sure to subscribe. I love this tribe. I make videos every single week. And if you want to follow me along my day, I love Instagram stories. Find me on Instagram at Life by Jazz and head on over to my website if you want even more. There's free resources, ways to work with me one-on-one -on -one as a coach, joining my masterminds, and ways to get hooked up in my online courses. So much love to you, so much light to you. I see you, I honor you, and I just am so floored by your ambition. I'm honored to be on this journey with you. So I can't wait to see you in the next video. Please share this with a friend if you feel moved to, and I'll see you guys next week. Namaste, ashe, that means good vibes, good energy, and peace and richest blessings to you, my friend.